Well, good morning, guys. How's everybody doing over there? Today, my bike, which is still not back, is finally being looked at and diagnosed. By the end of, end of today, I'm supposed to get a phone call and find out what is going on with Roxy and what it's going to take to get Roxy back. In the meantime, let's go explore. I got an errand to run. We'll hop in uh, Peggy here. You guys can come with me. We'll go uh, explore some new stuff around here. Sound good? Come on. There we go. I got the uh, temporary vlogging system put up here in Peggy today. And I got the microphone this time, so we should have some better audio than uh, the last time I tried this for sure. Uh, but yeah, sunshine. Tomorrow's supposed to rain. The next day it's supposed to rain. This is our one good day. So I'm gonna make the most of it. <laughs> Sound good? Ah, oh, this car's so much fun to drive. <laughs> it's so much different. It's like all this acceleration. And then you got nothing. I mean, I mean no offense to Miranda, but it just, just doesn't accelerate real quick. You know what I mean? I miss my bike too. Plus, if I get tired of uh, exploring things over here in Illinois, I can cross the uh, Mississippi over there. We can go try a different state, try Missouri. She just growls. All right, how many times have I driven past this tower looking thing? It's a funky building, right? Let's check it out, guys. It's not gonna be open, whatever it is, but. Confluence, that, that word sounds familiar. I just can't remember what it means. I'm sure we're gonna find something here. So normally for six bucks, we could go up inside it. It does say they're closed. You could call and make an appointment right now. That's the other thing about when everything opens back up. It's going to be like business as normal for me because everything's always closed anyway. Yeah. There it is. Good old Mr. Lewis and Mr. Clark. And we have this confluence tower built here uh, because they were here. Well, that's nice of Illinois. They left us a little placard here telling us what the heck those two things are. Yeah. It says, reaching skyward, the two pillars of the Lewis and Clark Confluence Tower rise 180 feet above the Mississippi River. This merging design is a tribute to the confluence of the Missouri and Mississippi waters, the historic site where the Lewis and Clark expedition departed for the west on May 14, 1804. For modern day travelers, this tower is a starting point for a trip through time. Visit the Welcome Center, view the vista from the tower's platforms, and explore the surrounding gardens. There's much to discover, unless you're in a pandemic. Yeah. Clark says, we set out and proceeded on under a gentle breeze up the Missouri, May 14th, 1804. And Lewis, the mouth of the River Du Bois is to be considered the point of departure. And like everything else, it's just pretty much ghost town. I'm just maintaining my uh, six feet distance and social distancing from everybody. <laughs> out here by myself, okay. All right, head out of here. Looks like somebody showed up to play with their puppy. It's a nice, chilly, but sunny day. I'm gonna head on down into Granite City. Never uh, filmed there, never seen any of that before. So we'll go check out Granite City together, guys. Uh, it would help if I clipped the microphone to me rather than keeping it on the floor down there. Okay, fix that. Also want to mention something real quick, guys, because all these videos I keep uploading during the pandemic, I'm getting, I'm getting some weird comments, and for some reason, people see me out doing stuff, and they freak out. I mean, obviously, it's different everywhere in the country, but I just want to reiterate the fact that here in Illinois and in Missouri... We're not locked down. We don't have to stay in our house. We are allowed to go out for essential things, which I'm, I'm out right now to go to the store, but we are perfectly allowed to self-isolate by ourselves. The only thing I don't want you doing is congregating in big groups. And, and, you know, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I mean, I'm literally not gonna be within even 20 feet of anybody all day. So just wanted to remind you all that I am doing everything I'm supposed to do by law and more and much much more you know um so don't don't worry about me guys <laughs> just because you choose to stay at home 
and uh, judge others, I am doing everything I'm supposed to do to help slow the spread of this coronavirus until we get it all figured out, okay? Cool. And besides, one of the things I need to do is to be able to walk and get my exercise, get my steps all tracked. So I'm gonna park here downtown Granite City and uh, gonna walk around and uh, we'll all check it out together. How's that sound? You know, at first glance, it looks like Granite City is a ghost town, but actually I can't really tell because we are in a pandemic also. I think it, I think it is very much a, a, a ghost town. <laughs> a lot of stuff is closed up, but there's also no people anywhere. So I'm gonna get my steps. What the heck? Whoa, we're just like in a little alley right here and it says giant swing for all my friends, which is an interactive 10 person swing that is permanent feature of the Granite City Art and Design District campus. We invite you to swing by anytime with your friends. To join our swingers club and be featured on the website, please send a photo with the swing to Granite City ADD at gmail.com. <laughs> well, currently right now, I don't think they want a bunch of people and all our friends to be swinging on it, but you ever seen a swing that holds 10 people? Otherwise, the area seems to be some sort of a community. Was it like a really nice garden at one time? And now, like, all the plants are sticking out of pieces of cardboard. Actually, well, they're doing something in there. I don't know, guys. The Swingers Club. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. More plants, though. Huh. Yeah, everything is boarded up here. Maybe I just picked the one bad L. Oh, my gosh. Ah, what is that? Why did I just walk around the corner and find a creepy clown? Like, for serious. Why, guys? You are creepy. I feel like the creepy clown was kind of a warning that, uh, watch your step, Eric, but... I'm an adventurer, so I'm going to peek around this other corner. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow, I love the ivy on the side of the wall here. That's so cool. Yeah, I don't know about all that, Mr. Clowny guy. I'm going to see you later. All right, guys, I'm going to go run my errand real quick, and then we'll get back to you and do some more exploring. So this is a little different. I'm picking up my uh, device here from Best Buy, however, you look behind me and see the cars and they're I am uh, next in line they're getting my order right now but the entire parking lot is closed out here they got carts blocking it off the store itself is closed but we can come in like this and get and get the things that we ordered online for pickup <laughs> so get this done and then we'll go look at a few more things today all right I'm back and I'm, I'm here on the SIEU campus here in Edwardsville Illinois Pretty quiet here at the college. So like a ghost town. <laughs> Very strange. Oh my gosh, and they've got a sense of humor here at the art and design facility here on campus. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the world's largest geriatric medical walker. <laughs> like, well, actually, you got to think about it because eventually Paul Bunyan is going to get old. He's going to have to come here to Illinois, Edwardsville. <laughs> and use this ginormous walker. <laughs> I'd say it stands about 40, 45 feet tall. It's not metal though. That's weird. It's almost like PVC plastic. I don't know how they do it, but uh, nice work guys. Where are you guys from? Oh, Canada, eh? Okay, well, good day. Man, this campus is gorgeous. I should have gone here instead of Evergreen. It is a little creepy how how empty and quiet it is though. Yeah. From a distance, I thought this was a real tree. It's a very fake tree. It's art, guys. It's art. Oh look, they got a, a domey looking thing. It's a it's a planetarium. Yeah. <laughs> Closed right now, but probably was a nice piece of artistic ingenuity at some point in life. Right now, it's just kind of sitting here being a dome, doing some domey stuff. Good old dome, the dome. 
I think the quarantine's getting to me, guys. <laughs> yeah. And of course, not all domes are created equal. <laughs> this one's a little ugly here in East Alton, in my opinion. Or, you know, just don't do drugs, guys, because this is what happens. <laughs> no. I got some projects. Let's go back and see Jax, check in on him, see how the little bugger's doing. Boy, what a nice day, though. I had fun today. Got everything I needed, so good deal, man. All right, well, we're back. I gotta take a look at that drone footage because it looks like the gimbal's still having some problems. If it looked straight to you, then I was able to zoom in and correct the horizon. Because I shot it all in 4K and I'm up, up, uploading in 1080p, so I will be able to fix it. It's gonna take me some time. The gimbal on my Mavic Air, or the camera, is bad. Darn it. That crash did a little more damage than just the propellers. But I finally brought in my laundry that I washed like almost two weeks ago. <laughs> Been sitting in the trunk of the car this whole time. And I got some projects coming up. Just some, uh, some projects. But, let's go check in on Mr. Jaxy Man. Um, Jax Man, you had one job, dude. You're supposed to fold the laundry I just brought in. He's giving me that look like, you got the wrong cat, man. You got the wrong cat. I ain't the cat, man. All right, I'll get it later, the uh, mountain of clean clothes. All right. All right, guess what, guys? Just heard the uh, final from uh, Ted's Harley motorcycle over there, the Honda shop and everything. They said, uh, Roxy the Revel's good to go, man. Got the uh, carb tuned up, we got a new chain on her. Got the oil change, two fresh new tires, got the whole inspection done and everything, and uh, gonna be picking her up tomorrow. So they're, they're gonna work on the last few things, but I do need to get a ride over there tomorrow. I cannot wait to get my motorcycle back. It's so nice outside, don't get me wrong. I've really been enjoying the uh, use of Peggy here. <laughs> but no, we're gonna get the bike back, oh, that's good. That's the other thing is, the car today actually worked out really well, you know, traveling with the drone and all my batteries and picking up some stuff. You can haul a lot more in a car than you can a motorcycle. So, I mean, just looking into the future, somewhere down the line, five years from now, ten years from now, when I retire from motorcycle life, I probably will tow a car. It won't be a Mustang. <laughs> it'll, be a, it'll be something that's actually easier to flat tow on all tires and everything, but, man, my buddy, my buddy Sean who, and Jill, who have this shop, Modified Auto, here in East Alton, just got some incredible news today. And I, I'm just sharing this, this with you because I'm just tickled to death, man. These two have lost so much weight. I've been telling you guys, they've been working out, they've been losing weight, they've been eating healthy through uh, Clean Eats here in Edwardsville, and uh, they've been making so many lifestyle changes. And there was this huge competition, a $25,000 cash prize to the person in the entire country or couple or team, like Team Fowler they call it, that, uh, that, that has changed their lives the most. And we just found out like 15 minutes ago that they won. They, they, they won. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so proud of them, man. Sean and Jill, you guys both look fantastic. The, the progress and the changes you have made in your life is so cool, man. I'm so glad I got to be here and be a part of it. That's so cool, man. Anyway, I got a little bit of editing to do here real quick, and then I'll get back to you tonight. Just a lot of walking, but body boss every other Just uh, checking it. I've been doing uh, live chats here on Patreon. Just a way to do a live chat every single night at 8 p.m. Central Time. There's a chat window where I can interact with my patreon subscribers it's always fun <laughs> i've been having a lot of fun in this downtime on patreon youtube is just kind of down the tank right now i can't do anything about it it's it's really tough for me i mean you can still produce the same amount of videos it's just there's no pay and i mean some people are okay with that it's like i don't care about pay eric i just like youtube well it's like yeah but i gotta pay the bills <laughs> Again, I, I appreciate the heck out of all of you. I have been having a blast over on Patreon with these live streams. And if you find yourself bored and want to join me over there, I'll put a link in the video description. You can join me every single daily live chat. Did you know that? And when I reach 500 patrons, I'm mailing you all out a custom limited edition Nomadic Fanatic acrylic magnet. Yeah. Got a little more editing to do tonight, so I will catch you guys later in my next video on our adventure. You guys take care. Bye-bye.